Hi there, welcome to this short video about the sensors group at the Institute of Neuroinformatics. We're located inside the INI. We embedded this large institute with many PhD students, master's students, part of the Neural Systems and Computation master's program. We have a fantastic workshop with SMD assembly. Our students are mixed together with neuroscience, machine learning, uh, modeling students in INI. Most of them do their experiments at their lab bench. You can see the stack. And a lot of them do computer work uh, using GPUs at their own desk. Here, and they t participate in the large any group meetings. We're active participants in the public ex exhibitions. And our group meeting where a couple of ETET students are showing off one of the robot sailboats that they built. We have an incredibly broad range of topic areas from signal processing, mixed signal sensors, hardware, AI, computer vision, machine learning, audition, neuroscience. We publish broadly in tough peer-reviewed um, venues for all these areas. Uh, but we could characterize one of our aims here is to go away from frame-based vision for 150 years towards vision sensors that work more like the eye, as shown here in this cross-section of the inner retina. Instead of putting out redundant frames over and over again, like regular cameras, our dynamic vision sensor, DVS, puts out brightness change events. And we've been developing these chips for the last 20 years now. We're highly developed. We have the best chips in the world. This is one of our cameras. We've produced hundreds of them and sold them through innovation. It makes frames like normal cameras, but it also makes these sparse brightness change events that go ahead of the frames. And in a surveillance scene like this hotel scene here, um, which is really boring, you can see the brightness change events, these red and green dots, uh, allow you to track the objects with microcontroller computing power and a few milliwatts of computer. You can also build cool robots like this money catching robot here. If you remember the old bar game, uh, this robotic roller here with a block mini ball shot at a goal. This is all running on a few percent of the CPU of a modest um, microcontroller. Here is an embedded pencil balancing robot that balances a pencil, completely embedded. Here's a gesture recognition system that's using the events to recognize these wake up gestures. This is heavily investigated by Samsung. This Rochambeau robot beats humans at the game of rock, scissors, paper simply by being much faster than them at it. And the latest thing that I played with, which is this robot, which is you take a card, in this case a joker, you show it to Trixie, the user puts it back in, then they shuffle the cards like this, and then they attempt to put poke their finger in when they see the joker go by. Uh, of course, they're too slow. But if we show the deck to, to Trixie here, it's able to shoot out a finger, yeah, that's that the card. card. Yes, yes, let's show it to the camera. That's my card. Yeah. Trix is better than me. We also work on audition sensors like the silicon cochlea here, binaural silicon cochlea that models somehow the traveling wave in a basal membrane. Four, five, eight. And produces spike events. Here is one of our sensors, oh, uh, silicon cochlea, uh, coupled to our RNN accelerator to recognize digits. Seconds, Here it recognizes seven, these digits five, in the two, RNN one, three, in an accent six. independent way. We collaborate with groups around the world uh, across four continents. Um, one of these co collaborations was the Samsung funded neuromorphic processor project where we were the PIs. Uh, that resulted in the first neural processing unit integrated to an application processor uh, that exploited sparsity. We also teach the neuromorphic engineering courses, and the students learn uh, pigeon vocabulary of basic analog circuits. They also test the circuits in the lab using test chips uh, and experiments, weekly experiments. And as a result of that, in the second semester, you can see multiple class projects over the last decade. Uh, many students that have actually participated in one of these test, mix test chip designs. And as an example of one of these is the physiologist friendship. It models a little patch of the visual system. We produced about 50 of these and sold them to, to uh, neurophysiology labs around the world. You can see here how it responds to this off stimulus. It allows you or a student to understand the concept of a receptive field and on and off center surround fields. We also are main organizers of the Telluride Neuromorphic Engineering Workshop. It's it's a premier 25-year funded workshop of the National Science Foundation, which brings together this worldwide community of neuromorphic engineers. If you're interested in more, uh, read about the census group on our webpage. Thank you.